The alien scout ship, sleek and shimmering with advanced technology, glided silently through the void of space. Its crew, a group of seasoned explorers from the Zarin Empire, had been on countless missions across the galaxy. Today, they had detected an unusual signal from an unidentified spacecraft drifting near the edge of their territory. As they approached, the source of the signal became visible, a human spaceship. It looked ancient and worn, with a patchwork of repairs and mismatched components. The Zarin crew exchanged bemused glances, their translator devices crackling with chuckles. Is this what humans consider spaceworthy? One alien scoffed, its blue skin rippling with amusement. This relic belongs in a museum, not out here. Another agreed, tapping a clawed finger against the viewscreen. They circled the ship, scanning for any signs of life. The human vessel seemed utterly lifeless, a ghost ship adrift in the vast expanse. The leader of the scout team, Commander Vec, ordered a closer inspection. They docked with the human ship, their laughter echoing through the comms as they prepared to board. Let's see what these primitive beings left behind, Vec said, a smug grin stretching across his face. The boarding hatch opened with a creak, and the Zarin crew stepped inside. The interior was dimly lit, filled with the hum of dormant machinery. Dust hung in the air and the smell of stale air greeted them. Everything about the ship seemed outdated, from the control panels with physical buttons to the clunky monitors. This is almost too easy, one alien muttered, running a scanner over the controls. The readings were laughably low-tech, confirming their suspicions. As they ventured deeper into the ship, their laughter grew louder, echoing through the empty halls. Little did they know, their mocking amusement was about to be cut short. The aliens spread out, exploring different sections of the seemingly decrepit human ship. Their laughter continued, growing more derisive with each outdated piece of technology they encountered. This ship is a relic of a bygone era, one alien sneered, running a clawed hand over a dusty console. How did humans ever manage to leave their planet with such primitive equipment? Another alien stumbled upon the engine room, where rusty pipes and haphazard wiring created a chaotic mess. Look at this, he exclaimed, beckoning his comrades over. It's a wonder this thing didn't explode the moment it took off. In the command center, Commander Vec scrutinized the main control panel, which was covered in a confusing array of switches and dials. He shook his head in disbelief. They must have used manual controls for everything. No wonder their ships are so slow. The aliens continued to mock and belittle the human technology, growing increasingly bold in their antics. One of them, a technician named Ral, decided to have a bit of fun. He began pressing buttons and flipping switches at random, eager to see what kind of chaos he could create. Careful, Ral, another alien warned with a chuckle. You might accidentally launch this relic into hyperspace. Ral laughed and continued his haphazard tinkering. I doubt this thing even has hyperspace capabilities. It's probably powered by fossil fuels. But as Ral pressed a particularly large red button, the ship suddenly lurched, and the lights flickered to life. The hum of dormant machinery turned into a powerful, resonant thrum. The aliens' laughter died in their throats as the ship's systems awakened around them. What's happening? One of the aliens shouted, his eyes wide with alarm. Commander Vex's smug expression was replaced with one of concern. Everyone back to the docking hatch, now! But it was too late. The ship's engines roared to life and the vessel shuddered as it began to power up. Panels that had appeared purely decorative slid open, revealing advanced control interfaces and holographic displays. The outdated technology was just a facade, hiding something far more sophisticated beneath. We've triggered something, Vex said, his voice tense. This ship isn't what it seems. We need to get out of here before... His words were cut off by a sudden jolt as the ship's defensive systems activated. Energy shields flared to life, trapping the alien crew inside. The human ship had sprung its trap, and the Zarin scouts were caught in its snare. The realization hit them like a cold wave. They had grossly underestimated the humans. This was no abandoned relic. It was a baited trap, and they had walked right into it. The Zarin crew scrambled, their earlier bravado evaporating in the face of the ship's sudden transformation. Alarms blared, and the once dormant consoles now glowed with vibrant, sophisticated displays. The alien technicians frantically tried to decipher the human interface, but it was like trying to read an ancient, forgotten language. Shut it down, Commander Vec barked. We need to disable the systems before... A deep rumble resonated through the ship as hidden compartments opened, revealing advanced weaponry and automated drones. The Zarin scouts stared in disbelief as the drones hovered into the air, their sleek designs and humming energy fields a stark contrast to the ship's outward appearance. Ral, the alien who had started the chaos, frantically typed commands into a console, but the system rejected his inputs with an infuriating series of beeps. 
It's no use, Commander. I can't override the controls. The drones began to emit a low, pulsating hum, scanning the intruders with beams of light. One of the aliens raised his weapon, but Vex stopped him with a sharp gesture. No, don't provoke them! As if in response to Vex's words, a voice crackled through the ship's intercom. It was calm and authoritative, speaking in flawless Zaran. Attention, unauthorized personnel. You have activated the defense protocols of this vessel. Surrender immediately or face the consequences. The Zaran crew exchanged nervous glances. They had expected to encounter an abandoned relic, not an automated fortress. Vec took a deep breath and addressed the intercom. We mean no harm. We were mistaken about the nature of this vessel. The intercom was silent for a moment, then the voice responded. Your actions suggest otherwise. Prepare to be detained. Before Vec could respond, the drones moved with blinding speed, surrounding the alien crew. Energy fields crackled around them, forming barriers that herded the Zarans toward the center of the room. Resistance was futile. The technology at play was far beyond anything they had anticipated. As the drones closed in, Rao's eyes widened with a sudden realization. Commander, look at the symbols on the walls. He pointed to intricate carvings that had been obscured by dust. They were ancient human runes intertwined with symbols of advanced mathematics and quantum physics. Vex's eyes narrowed as he scanned the room. This isn't just a trap. It's a message. The ship's intercom crackled to life again. Indeed, Commander Vec, you have underestimated humanity. Our technology, our ingenuity, this ship is a testament to both. The room's lights dimmed and a holographic projection of Earth appeared before the alien crew. The planet rotated slowly, its blue oceans and green continents a stark reminder of humanity's resilience. Welcome to the future of human space exploration, the voice continued. Prepare to learn just how far we have come. The drones escorted the Zarans to a secure holding area, the ship systems monitoring their every move. As the aliens settled into their confinement, the realization of their misjudgment weighed heavily upon them. The humans were no longer the primitive beings they had once thought. They had evolved, and their technological prowess was now a force to be reckoned with. The holding area was more sophisticated than anything the Zaran crew had encountered. Smooth metal walls gleamed under soft lighting, and the cells were equipped with advanced biometric locks. The aliens sat in silence, their earlier bravado replaced by a tense anxiety. We underestimated them, Ral muttered, staring at the complex interface of his cell. This technology, it's on par with, if not surpassing, our own. Commander Vec paced the small cell, his mind racing. We need to find a way to communicate with our superiors. They need to know what we've discovered. As if on cue, a section of the wall slid open, and a holographic projection of a human appeared. The figure was tall and imposing, dressed in a sleek uniform that seemed to blend seamlessly with the ship's design. His expression was stern but curious. Greetings, Zarin Scouts. I am Captain Marcus Hale of the UES Vanguard, the projection said. You are now prisoners of the United Earth Space Command. Your actions have activated our ship's defense systems, and you will be detained until further notice. Vex stepped forward, his eyes fixed on the hologram. Captain Hale, we came here out of curiosity, not aggression. We did not expect to find such advanced technology. The hologram of Captain Hale nodded. Your curiosity led you to underestimate us. But know this. Humanity has evolved. We have faced countless challenges and emerged stronger each time. This ship is but one example of our capabilities. Ral couldn't contain his curiosity. How did you achieve this level of advancement? Last we knew, humans were far behind us in technological development. Captain Hale's hologram smiled slightly. We combine the best of our ingenuity with what we've learned from others. We may have started from humble beginnings, but we have made great strides in a short amount of time. This ship's outward appearance is a facade designed to lure in those who would underestimate us. The realization hit the Zarin crew hard. They had been tricked by their own arrogance, falling into a trap set by a species they had considered inferior. What do you plan to do with us? Vec asked, his voice steady despite the uncertainty in his eyes. Captain Hale's expression grew serious. You will be held here until we can determine your intentions and ensure you pose no threat to us. In the meantime, consider this a lesson in humility. Do not judge by appearances, and do not underestimate the resilience and ingenuity of humanity. With that, the hologram flickered and disappeared, leaving the Zarin crew to contemplate their situation. The ship continued its journey, its advanced systems humming with an almost sentient awareness. The aliens, once so sure of their superiority, now faced the reality of their misjudgment. Days passed in the holding area, and the Zarin crew began to understand more about their captors. 
the humans were not the primitive beings they had imagined, but a formidable force capable of great innovation and adaptation. Their technology was a testament to their determination and resourcefulness. One day, as the crew sat in their cells, the door slid open and a group of human soldiers entered. Their leader, a stern-faced officer, addressed the prisoners. Commander Vec, you and your crew will be released on one condition, the officer said. You must take a message back to your leaders. Humanity is not to be underestimated. We seek peace, but we are prepared for any threat. Spread the word of what you have seen here. Vec nodded, a newfound respect in his eyes. We will deliver your message. Thank you for showing us the truth. The humans escorted the Zarin crew back to their scout ship, the once mocked human vessel now a symbol of their profound lesson. As they departed, the aliens couldn't help but feel a sense of awe for the species they had once ridiculed. The Zarin scouts returned to their homeworld, carrying with them a message that would reshape their understanding of humanity. The humans were no longer the underestimated underdogs of the galaxy. They were a force to be reckoned with, deserving of respect and caution. The Zarin scout ship exited the human vessel's docking bay, the advanced human technology guiding it safely away from the trap that had ensnared them. As they drifted back toward Zarin space, the crew members were silent, each lost in their thoughts. Commander Vec activated the ship's communication system, preparing to send a message back to their command center. This is Commander Vec of the Zarin scout ship Taurus. We have encountered a human vessel of unprecedented technological advancement. Prepare for an encrypted transmission with full details of our findings. As the transmission went through, the crew braced for the inevitable questions from their superiors. The message they carried was too important to delay, and soon enough they received an urgent reply from the Zarin High Council, demanding a full report upon their return. Days later, the scout ship docked at their home base. The crew disembarked, greeted by a contingent of Zarin officials and scientists eager to learn more. Commander Vec and his team were ushered into a briefing room, where they recounted their experience with the human ship in meticulous detail. The council members listened intently, their expressions growing more serious with each revelation. When Vec finished, an elder counselor leaned forward, his eyes narrowing. You are certain of this, Commander? The humans have truly advanced to such a degree? Yes, Counselor, Vec replied. Their technology was far beyond anything we anticipated. They masked it behind a facade to lure us in, and we fell for it. The Council exchanged worried glances. This changes everything, one of them muttered. Another counselor, a scientist named Dr. Zarel, spoke up. We must reassess our understanding of humanity. If they have achieved such advancements, they could become formidable allies or dangerous adversaries. Just as the discussion intensified, an alert sounded throughout the briefing room. A holographic display sprang to life, showing a fleet of human ships approaching Zaran space. The lead ship was the UES Vanguard, the same vessel that had captured the scout crew. Incoming transmission from the human fleet an officer announced. The display shifted to show Captain Marcus Hale, his image projected into the briefing room. Greetings, Zarin High Council. I am Captain Marcus Hale of the United Earth Space Command. We come in peace, seeking to open a dialogue between our peoples. The council members glanced at each other, the tension palpable. Finally, the head counselor, a wise and venerable Zarin named Larek, stepped forward. Captain Hale, we welcome you. Your actions have demonstrated the strength and ingenuity of your species. We are prepared to discuss terms of peace and cooperation. Captain Hale's expression softened. Thank you, Counselor Larrick. We believe that through mutual understanding and respect, our two species can achieve great things together. As the negotiations began, Vec and his crew watched from the sidelines, their initial shock giving way to a sense of hope. The humans had not come seeking war, but rather an opportunity to forge a new path together. The discussions continued for hours, both sides finding common ground and addressing their differences. By the end of the day, an agreement was reached, a treaty of peace and cooperation between the Zarin Empire and the United Earth Space Command. They would share knowledge and resources, working together to explore the galaxy and ensure mutual security. As the human fleet and the Zarin delegation prepared to formalize their agreement, Vec couldn't help but marvel at how quickly things had changed. What had begun as a mission of curiosity had transformed into an alliance that would shape the future of both species. The ceremony was brief but momentous. Under the watchful eyes of their respective fleets, the leaders of humanity and the Zarin Empire signed the treaty, sealing their commitment to peace and collaboration. With the treaty signed, the human and Zarin ships departed, their paths now intertwined. 
Commander Vex stood on the observation deck of the Taris, watching as the human fleet faded into the distance. He knew that the journey ahead would not be without challenges, but for the first time he felt a sense of optimism. The humans had proven their worth, not just through their technological prowess, but through their willingness to seek understanding and cooperation. As the stars stretched out before him, Vec knew that the galaxy had just become a much smaller and much more interconnected place. Back on Zara, the news of the treaty spread quickly, causing ripples of surprise and curiosity throughout the Empire. The Zaran people, long accustomed to their superior position in the galaxy, now faced the reality of humanity's unexpected advancement. Some were skeptical, others hopeful, but all recognized the significance of this new alliance. Commander Vec and his crew were hailed as both heroes and cautionary tales. They had been the first to witness humanity's hidden strength, and their experience served as a powerful reminder of the dangers of underestimation. As the weeks passed, delegations from Earth and Zara began working closely together. Scientists and engineers from both species exchanged knowledge, eager to learn from one another. The initial meetings were tense, filled with cautious optimism, but slowly trust began to build. Dr. Zarl, the council scientist, was particularly fascinated by the human technology. He spent hours poring over schematics and discussing theoretical physics with his human counterparts. Their advancements in quantum computing are remarkable, he remarked to Vec one day. We've made significant strides, but they have approached the problem from an entirely different angle. Vec nodded, watching as human and Zarin engineers worked side by side in the newly established research facility. It's humbling, he admitted. We thought we were so far ahead, yet there is so much we can still learn. Meanwhile, Captain Hale and his team were welcomed as honored guests. They toured Zarin cities, marveling at the architectural wonders and advanced infrastructure. Hale, ever the diplomat, was careful to show respect and admiration for Zarin achievements, knowing that mutual respect was key to a lasting alliance. During one such tour, Hale and Vec found themselves standing on a balcony overlooking a bustling Zarin metropolis, the city was a blend of organic and technological, with towering spires that seemed to grow from the ground itself. It's beautiful, Hale said, his gaze sweeping over the landscape. Vex smiled, a rare moment of pride shining through. It is, and it's only the beginning. With our combined knowledge, we can create wonders neither of us could have imagined alone. The collaboration wasn't without its challenges. There were moments of cultural misunderstanding and technological incompatibility, but each obstacle was met with determination and a shared goal. The humans and Zarans were forging a new path, one that required patience and open-mindedness. One evening, as Vec and his crew relaxed in their quarters, Ral voiced what many of them had been thinking. Commander, do you ever wonder what the future holds for us? For both our species? Vec leaned back, his gaze distant. I think about it often, Ral. We've entered a new era, one where our actions today will shape the galaxy for generations to come. It's a daunting responsibility, but also an incredible opportunity. Ral nodded thoughtfully. Do you think we'll truly be able to work together despite our differences? Vex's expression softened. We have to. The galaxy is vast and filled with unknowns. Alone, we are strong, but together we can achieve so much more. We must learn from each other, grow together, and face whatever challenges come our way as allies. As the night wore on, the Zarin crew reflected on their journey. They had set out with curiosity and arrogance, only to be humbled and enlightened by their encounter with humanity. Now, they were part of something greater, a partnership that promised to unlock new frontiers and possibilities. In the days that followed, joint missions were planned, and the first cooperative exploration venture was launched. A mixed crew of human and Zarin scientists and explorers boarded a newly designed ship, their destination a distant, uncharted star system. As the ship departed, Vec watched from the observation deck, his heart filled with a mixture of pride and anticipation. The future was uncertain, but for the first time in his life he felt a deep sense of hope. The galaxy was vast and filled with mysteries, but now they would face it together, united by a shared vision and an unbreakable bond. And so, the alliance between humans and Zarans began, a beacon of cooperation and progress in a universe often marked by conflict. The path ahead was long and winding, but with each step, they moved closer to a future where their combined strengths would lead to unimaginable discoveries and a lasting peace. Months passed since the historic treaty, and the collaborative efforts between humans and Zarans began to bear fruit. Joint research stations and exploratory missions became the norm, and both species saw unprecedented advancements in technology, medicine, and understanding of the cosmos. 
On the planet Zara, a grand summit was organized to celebrate the burgeoning alliance and showcase the progress made. Delegates from both Earth and Zara gathered in the expansive hall of the Zaran Council, which was adorned with symbols representing the unity between their peoples. Commander Vex stood alongside Captain Marcus Hale, both leaders looking out over the assembled crowd. The atmosphere was one of excitement and anticipation. Vec took a deep breath, feeling the weight of the moment. He had been chosen to speak first. Honored guests, friends, and allies, Vec began, his voice resonating through the hall. Today we stand on the precipice of a new era. What began as a chance encounter has grown into a powerful partnership. We have learned from each other, pushed the boundaries of what we thought possible, and together we have begun to explore the vast unknown. The crowd erupted in applause, their enthusiasm palpable. Vec continued, Our journey has not been without challenges. We have faced misunderstandings and setbacks, but through it all, we have remained committed to our shared vision. Today, we celebrate not just our achievements, but our future. Captain Hale stepped forward, his presence commanding the room. As we look to the stars, we see infinite possibilities. Our alliance has shown that by combining our strengths, we can overcome any obstacle. Together, we will explore new worlds, solve the mysteries of the universe, and build a legacy of peace and cooperation. He paused, allowing his words to sink in. This summit marks the beginning of a new chapter in our history. Let it be a testament to what we can achieve when we work as one. As the applause subsided, the lights dimmed, and a holographic display illuminated the room. It showcased the combined achievements of the past months, new spacecraft designs, medical breakthroughs, and stunning images from their joint explorations. Among the delegates was Dr. Zerl, who had been instrumental in many of the scientific advancements. He watched with pride as the holographic display highlighted a new propulsion system he had helped develop, one that combined Zarin and human technology to achieve faster-than-light travel. After the presentation, Vec and Hale mingled with the guests, discussing future plans and potential collaborations. There was a sense of camaraderie and shared purpose that permeated the room. At one point, Vec found himself speaking with Rao, who had been deeply affected by their initial encounter with the human ship. Commander, do you remember how skeptical we were? Ral asked with a smile. It's hard to believe how far we've come. Vec nodded. It is. We've learned that true strength lies in understanding and embracing our differences. Together, we've become more than we ever could have been alone. As the summit drew to a close, Vec and Hale stood together once more, watching as the delegates from both species exchanged ideas and forged new connections. The Alliance had not just brought technological advancements, but a deeper understanding and respect for one another. In the following weeks, the Joint Exploration Mission returned with groundbreaking discoveries. They had found a habitable planet teeming with life, a perfect symbol of the new frontiers that lay ahead. The humans and Zarans named it Unity, a testament to their collaboration. The colonization of Unity became a joint effort, with both species working together to create a thriving settlement. It was a place where humans and Zarans lived side by side, sharing their cultures and knowledge, building a future that honored their past while looking to the stars. Years later, Unity became a beacon of peace and progress in the galaxy. The lessons learned from the initial encounter and the subsequent alliance guided their interactions with other species, fostering a spirit of cooperation and mutual respect. Commander Vec and Captain Hale remained lifelong friends, their bond a symbol of the alliance that had changed the course of history. They often visited Unity, marveling at the thriving community and the wonders they had uncovered. And so, the story of the humans and Zarans became a legend, told across the galaxy as a shining example of what could be achieved when different worlds came together. It was a story of curiosity, humility, and the unyielding belief that by working together, they could reach the stars and beyond. In the end, it was not just the technology or the discoveries that defined their legacy, but the relationships they had built and the understanding they had forged. The galaxy was vast, but with unity, they had made it a little smaller, a little